First off, absolutely love the brand name Strap Habit. Just, just the name of the brand. It's so fitting because, yeah, clearly it can become a habit or obsession or whatever you want to call it. Um, I have basically a sub-collection of different variants of the FKM rubber straps from Strap Habit. And to be clear, Strap Habit has become, over time, the official strap of the Random Rob channel. But it didn't start out that way. It ended up that way. Like all of the other brands and authorized dealers I work with, I have worked with them before I developed like a, a more solid relationship with them. And that's definitely the case with Strap Habit. And I just... The owner, you know, meeting him at randomly at a worn and wound wind up after party. Actually, it wasn't even at wind up. It was at the Oris after party in the, I think it's called the trailer park. If you've ever been to it, it's, it's awesome. Oris does a great job hosting that. And him and I just uh, talked, uh, Nick and I just talked a lot and, and we kept in touch and then, you know, time goes by and the next thing you know, um, to the point where we've even collaborated like this is a limited edition strap which you know maybe we'll do a, a different one in the future or whatever but honestly the the straps that are already out the the amount of skews and uh, options sizes colors um, varieties that are available from the lineup is just it doesn't leave anyone really wanting like there's already pretty much everything you could possibly want and then with these these newer straps with the deployment clasp are just game changers for a lot of different watches and of course some of them like this one um are for good cause you know so there's probably some of these left i know they're doing they're still doing some uh fundraising to uh, battle breast cancer so get behind that for sure they've done it for a couple of years in the past and that's the current one that's uh, i'll put a link down below as well as the discount code there's no discount available on the uh, charity stuff that's to be expected but the the rest of the straps i personally gravitate towards the two-piece fkm rubber straps that's just my personal bias but there are plenty of other options you know uh canvas leather um uh, you know pass-through straps, and who knows really what the future holds. There's just endless possibilities. I love the, the colorways and the styles and the fitment and everything like that. So I'm excited to be part of the support for the brand, and it's I think it's easy for most people to support, um, you know, a, a good value proposition from a USA seller, quick shipping um and just yeah there's, there, there's no downside to like having the the strap variety options in my opinion because and yeah typically i don't wear a lot of blue but i have to have the splash of blue because occasionally you'll get a watch with a splash of blue and you just want to tie it in you know same thing with like the greens and stuff it might not be like my normal orange but I do own watches that require a different combination. So I have a lot of straps. This is a small, small sample. I have a lot more um, and some of them are redundant. You know, there's because I don't, yes, they have quick release spring bars, but I don't necessarily like swapping them out. I want to have a watch live on that strap and have another one live on the exact same strap potentially. So um, is it a strap habit? Yes. And I'm okay with that. So a um, bit of a confession, I guess. Yes, I do have a strap problem. So thanks for watching. Good luck with your strap problem.